Hi everybody, it's Lauren and I'm going to be participating in the Read d and a thon This is going to be my first readathon, and I am so excited to do this. This is a Dungeons & Dragons themed readathon hosted by Kaylee at the Enchanted Library and Tara at the Three Bookshelves. I will leave their accounts linked down below. The way this works is you choose books basically the same way that you create a D&D character, a very basic one at least, by choosing a race, a class, and an alignment. And you have 10 choices for each attribute, well, nine for the alignment, but 10 for the other two. And each choice for the alignment corresponds to a reading prompt and you choose one book for that prompt. So I am just doing one character because I read very slowly. And I'm also a full-time college student, so I don't want to overextend myself here. The readathon runs from February 1st to February 14th, and you have to complete all of the books that you've chosen within those two weeks. So if you're creating two characters, you're reading six books. If you're creating one character, you read three, etc. So the race that I chose is Dragonborn, for which you have to read a book with dragons in it. And for that, I am doing The Tropic of Serpents by Marie Brennan. This is the second book in the Memoirs of Lady Trent series. They are Victorian style memoirs by the world's leading naturalist and expert on dragons. Her name is Isabella and if you've seen any of my early videos you probably know I am obsessed with the first book, A Natural History of Dragons. So I'm really excited to get into the sequel. It's about Isabella's second research expedition to a very hot and war-torn country called Ariga. And it's field work with wild animals, dangerous, exciting stuff. I'm, ah, both the fantasy nerd and the biology nerd in me is just so excited to read this. Next up, class. For this I chose Cleric, which means I have to read a book that involves religion somehow. And the Cleric book I'm going to be reading is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. This one is maybe a little bit of a stretch, but I read Vicious earlier this year and absolutely loved it. Is this too shiny for this video? So if you're not familiar with Vicious, it is about two college students who do their final project on EOs or extraordinary people. And they discover that EOs get these superhuman abilities through having a near-death experience. And Vengeful introduces a new EO named Marcella who is hell-bent on something. <laughs> the blurb is honestly kind of vague, but it looks really exciting and very high stakes. In Vicious, the arc of one of the main characters has religion and religious calling and faith very heavily involved. It's such a major part of his character that I can't really imagine it not being a part of this sequel. So maybe choosing this for Cleric is a little bit of a stretch, but I think that's enough to make it fit. Besides, I just really, really want to read this book. Schwab's prose was so breathtaking and vicious, I just can't wait. Now the alignment that I chose for the final attribute is True Neutral, in which you have to read a book that you know nothing about. So for the alignment, I am reading Aletheia by Megan Tennant. I have no idea what this book is about, except that I think it's maybe fantasy. Even that I'm not sure about. I'm sure I read the summary at some point, but I remember absolutely nothing. I bought this because I thought the cover was very pretty. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover is a very common phrase, and yet I have yet to meet one reading enthusiast who has never read a novel because the cover was just breathtaking. So I just have absolutely no idea what to expect from this, but a couple of my favorite books I have just taken blindly off the shelf, so hopefully that luck will continue. And if nothing else, it makes my bookcase pretty. So these are the three books I'm going to be doing for this readathon. Maybe it's kind of a low number on average, but like I mentioned earlier, I am very busy and on top of that, a pretty slow reader. So I just hope that I can finish these in the span of two weeks. In addition to the basic prompts, Tara and Kaylee have added three bonus challenges to this readathon. The first is where you choose each attribute by rolling a 10-sided die. The second is where you create a minimum of three characters, all with different attributes, for a minimum of nine books read in the two weeks. I am not going to be doing either of those challenges. The second one for obvious reasons. But if I do finish reading all three books within the allotted amount of time, I will be doing the third challenge, which is to use the titles of the three books to name your character. 
I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be. Now, the final important thing about the Read D&D-a-thon, I still love, love that name, is that the hosts have built in a point system into the Read-a-thon, similar to the way you would level up in a Dungeons & Dragons campaign. You get 50 XP for each book completed and each bonus challenge completed. So if you do complete the second challenge, you've got a minimum of 500 XP right there. If any of you manage to do that, I for one will be impressed. So if you are interested in this Read d, &D thon I will be linking the announcement videos both from Kaylee and Tara, both up here and down here. Also, if you choose to participate, feel free to comment what books you choose below. I'd love to hear about it. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see my wrap-ups and reading vlogs in the next couple of weeks, or you just want to see more content from this channel, hit that subscribe button below, and I will see you next time.